heartbreaking. Clinton rape victim just knocked Oprah out. Hell yeah. On Sunday night celebrities gathered on stage during the Golden Globes to pat each other back and tell each other how fantastic they are. Of course, there was your typical President Trump bashing by wealthy liberal elitists who think they know better than the average American with the same tired jokes. However, the celebrity brouhaha took an absurd turn when they berated Oprah Winfrey out on stage to lecture all of white America about sexual abuse and harassment running rampant in the country. Of course, liberal women across the country were fawning all over Oprah's speech applauding its strong message of woman empowerment. However, not every woman in the country bought Winfrey's lies on the Hollywood stage and had been calling her out on her blatant hypocrisy. Now, one of Bill Clinton's rape victims has joined in on the chorus of calling Winfrey to the mat and delivered a knockout blow to the talk show queen. Oprah Winfrey has touted herself as a champion for women and minority causes aligning herself with liberal elitists like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Oprah has always been a favorite of the left since she parrots the talking points they want her to say and lulls the modern housewife into voting for progressive agendas under the guise of empowerment. Though not all women in America feel this way about Oprah after discovering she helped Harvey Weinstein in procuring potential victims for him to abuse. And, it is important to note that Weinstein is not the only rapist Winfrey has bodied up to. Oprah is a longtime supporter of the Clintons and as we all know, Slick Willie has a long history of sexually assaulting women and one of those victims is speaking out. Here is more from Fox News. Juanita Broderick, the now 75-year-old retired nurse, has alleged former President Bill Clinton raped her during his 1978 campaign for Arkansas governor, and that his wife Hillary Clinton helped him cover it up. She brought that allegation to the celebrated media titan's attention. Hey at Oprah hash Golden Globes, tweeted Broderick Monday. Funny I've never heard you mention my name. Can you hear me now? Guess not. My rapist was, is your friend, Bill Clinton. Broderick also pointed out to a 2004 interview the 63-year-old talk show host conducted with a 71-year-old former president. When Winfrey questioned Clinton about his sex scandal involving former White House intern Monica Lewinsky, she simply asked, What was the most difficult part of that time for you? Remember this at Oprah, she tweeted. You've had so many opportunities to bring up my allegations, which have never been discredited. Why? The Washington Post reported in 1999 that Broderick, who was described in government documents as Jane Doe No. 5, said she chose to stay silent about her allegations because she was hoping the horrific memory would disappear with time. It was a horrible, horrible experience and I just wanted it to go away, she claimed at the time. Broderick also revealed she chose to come forward with her story because there was so much misinformation out there. The Clinton legal team denied Broderick's allegations to the publication, calling it false and outrageous. Any allegation that the president assaulted Miss Broderick more than 20 years ago is absolutely false, Clinton's personal attorney David E. Kendall said in a statement released by the White House in 1999. Beyond that, we are not going to comment. Earlier this year, Broderick published a book titled You'd Better Put Some Ice on That, How I Survived Being Raped by Bill Clinton. Winfrey, who was the recipient of the Golden Globe's annual Cecil B. Demille Award for Lifetime Achievement, gave a passionate speech during the ceremony where she stressed the importance of women speaking their truth and sharing their stories of being abused and assaulted in the workplace. Listen, if the left wants to prop open up as a potential presidential candidate framing her as a person with high morals and stands for women empowerment, then let's be honest about her. Oprah is nothing more than a high-powered madam that facilitates women for the sick perverts hiding in plain sight in Hollywood and political circles. Though if you tried to say this to the average Oprah Winfrey fan, they would dismiss you as someone that is a racist and a sexist. Does Oprah stand a chance against President Trump? Not really, but she does have the power to create more issues for Trump who is already battling multiple fronts. Let us hope that more people wake up and smell the liberal hypocrisy before it is too late. It's too late.